The script is was really scary. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful script. Um, I knew it was taking off from the original, but the story is basically of th three women, uh, all different ages. I play the oldest of them who has dementia. The um, uh, the woman in the middle is a career woman. She's a detective, and the woman who's uh, Betty Gilpin, who plays this woman who's pregnant with a child that could possibly have a, a disability. So there are three different problems. Um, that these three women are involved with. And that I thought was very different and very current um, in terms of updating or, up, or, or using a theme that right now is very relevant. So I was really excited about it and also I'm always excited when I get invited into a movie. <laughs> and this was, a, you know, this is kind of special. Nicholas Pesch is an extraordinary young filmmaker and I had seen his early film and was really excited to work with him. So um, I was elated to be a part of it. Yes, I've never played that kind of character before. Um, dementia is a very evil uh, deterioration of humanity, actually, of your humanity, which I thought was a fascinating is a fascinating topic to sort of explore as an actor. Um, and the journey, her journey, which is obviously also finally taken by the grudge and, and push, pushes her over the edge, is also a really fascinating. And also there were special effects in this film that my character got to, got to utilize that were very different than anything I'd ever done before. And just from a filmmaking point of view, it was really fun because we had to deal with a lot of blood and guts. <laughs> No, in some ways it's easier because you don't have to remember. But, well, yes yes and no. I mean, there's, you know, when you're storytelling, when your character has a story, uh, of course, with dialogue and, you know, hopefully the dialogue is well written, it's, it's a wonderful, because there's a real exchange um, verbally, obviously, with you and the other actors, but the, the communication is, is the same whether you have words or not. And with someone like Faith, who I play, um, Mostly it was about the deterioration and loss of that communication that I was responsible to portray and about the infection, how the infection um, changes who she becomes. And that was, a real, that was a real challenge and really fun to play also. You know, all, this, all these horrible things for actors are a, a wonderful part of the process that make what you do even more fun to do. So I really loved playing this character. I think the interaction with with the other characters, the, my interaction with Frankie Faison, who plays my husband, was really powerful. There's a scene which is not in the film, it's going to be in the director's cut, but which is a wonderful scene for me to have, to recognize was there because it was, um, uh, Faith was having a good day. With dementia, there are days you have that are better than others. Some days you're very lucid, some days you're not at all. And this was a day she was having a good day, and it shows them just sitting together on the couch talking about the past. It was a beautiful scene. And that showed me who Faith was before her deterioration. So um, it was like trying to find that, the, the, the dips and curves of, of who she becomes, which was me, which, which for me was the most fascinating part of the character. And again, her demise into after the grudge grabs her. It was scary. It was scary to play. It actually was scary to play. I thought he did a fan. That was to me one of the most important parts of this film is the 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 present that he incorporated into this. That these are three women with three different problems, and. It's 2020 now, and I think rage is even a more important theme now than it was then, um, because I think our world is filled with rage right now. So using three women also, which is which is a very um, current theme, you know, to explore women's women's lives actually. And here we have my character who is in her, you know, who is an old woman and is deteriorating in that way. We have um, the detective 
who is a career woman with no man in her life, and then Betty Gilpin's character, who is a pregnant young, young pregnant woman who's having to make a decision about giving life to a, a child that may be disabled. So it was thematically, I thought, really fascinating and, up, and sort of updated the whole idea of this infection coming to the United States um, from Japan, basically. It sort of got, <laughs> got shipped over. And, be ready, because you want to know what? It's, it's here. I think fear is such a primitive emotion um, that people are afraid to experience. It's like people are afraid of fear. And to be able to have that experience, in a, um, in a, especially in a group setting, when you go to see a film like this in the theater, and the experience of being around other people who are also having their private experience in public about very important themes and the theme of fear, um, I, I think is really exciting. I think this film is going to be a, a, a big audience pleaser because um, everyone is going to have their own private experience, but you can all shriek together. <laughs> I just like good good stories, and for me, it's not so much about genre. Either playing them as an actor or watching them, I love a good story that that makes me think about something I might not be thinking about, without having seen that that film or hearing that story. So um, I sort of am a storyteller and a story listener. I love hearing good stories from other people. Police department. Followed me home. Mommy, what's going on? What's wrong? We need to leave right now. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God! Is it a prayer? I oh knew that God. was going to happen. Thanks, guys. Now. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>